welcome to the No Spin News, Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. Stand up for your country. Busy program today. We have Stephen A. Smith uh, on deck. Uh, big week for the National Football League. There's a big lawsuit against it. We're going to talk about that, the Super, uh, Super Bowl halftime show, which is abysmal and all of that. But the Talking Points memo this evening is African-Americans being shot dead. You want racism? This is racism. First, the stats. In 2020, those are the latest statistics. 21 are not out yet from the FBI. 56% of all homicides in the USA were African-American dead victims. Okay. African-Americans make up 13% of the population, 56% of those murdered. New York City the nation's largest, okay, 65% homicide victims were black. Chicago, third largest city, 81% black. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 79% black. Columbus, Ohio, 66% black. Louisville, Kentucky, 68% on and on and on and on. You all right? Okay. So, Black Lives Matter? Anything? No. All right, Al Sharpton? No. Nothing. Congressional Black Caucus? Nothing. It's just, it is impossible to believe that the civil rights lobby refuses to address this issue. President Biden say one word about this since he's been inaugurated? No, not a word. OK, we hear all the other grievances across the board. Never is this addressed. OK, overall, at least 16 U.S. cities witnessed record high homicides last year, 2021. There are local stats available, not national stats yet. OK, and the reason is the anti-police campaigns. Ever since George Floyd was killed and the riots ensued, it's been open season on cops. The police know it. They pulled back. The law enforcement isn't as aggressive as it used to be. The gangs, the drug gangs, which are the drivers of murder in this country, the black drug gangs and on the West Coast, the Hispanic drug gangs, they drive this awful murder. All right, how do they do it? So in the poor neighborhoods, the inner cities, the gangs rule, much like the cartels rule in Mexico. It's important for you to understand this because most of us don't live in those neighborhoods. So they are heavily armed, these drug gangs in America. And they recruit young teenagers who are unsupervised. And they almost force them to get into the gang. Many of them go willingly because they don't have fathers, they don't have supervision, they don't have anything. So they go into the gang for some kind of protection or camaraderie or whatever it may be. So the gangs have lots of members, many of them very young, all of them armed. So the gangs sell heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, uh, fentanyl, whatever it may be, on the street, on the street. That's where they are. Now, it used to be the police would be very aggressive in arresting those gang members for selling narcotics. And when they were arrested, many times they had guns on them. No longer. The progressive district attorneys will not prosecute people selling hard drugs on the street any longer. So what do you think is going to happen? Open air. Now, if you live in those neighborhoods and you object to any of this, your life is in danger. And so is the lives of your family. So you don't see community people coming out. If word gets out, you're cooperating with the cops. You're a dead man or woman or child. The clerics, the ministers and priests should be out there, but they're afraid too. So it's basically a third world situation, as I said, just like the Mexican cartels, where people in these neighborhoods, 
in the south side of Chicago, in Bushwick, New York, in the Bronx, New York, on and on, are terrified they're going to be killed. And they know the police can't protect them. And the police know, even if they get these guys, probably nothing will happen to them. And they'll be right back out doing what they do. Is this not racism? All right? That's racism. That's singling out a certain group, African Americans, and ignoring their plight. So we've gone over the names Pritzker, the governor of Illinois, Hochul, the governor of New York, Newsom, the governor of California. They couldn't care less because these people are largely invisible. They're poor. They have no power. Okay? But say the N-word on a podcast and you're canceled. Shouldn't we be canceling the governors who allow this Mass murder to take place year after year after year. And what about the mayors? De Blasio, Lightfoot. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Yet Americans en masse turn away because they don't see it themselves. They don't see the six-year-old girl shot in the playground or the 80-year-old woman mugged on the way to the grocery store by a drug addict who needs money to buy the narcotics from the drug gang. This is America's biggest disgrace because this could be handled. But in order to handle it, you have to punish the drug gangs harshly. And you have to restore order in Chicago by putting the National Guard on the streets. Never going to do it. So you're going to have thousands and thousands and thousands of African-Americans murdered every year. Never going to stop. Community basketball programs ain't going to do it. Social workers not going to stop it. Police could if given the powers that they need. But it all comes back to the district attorneys prosecuting. I'll just, I'll just remind you of one thing before I get to uh, President Biden. In Chicago, I think three months ago, four months ago, there was a drug gang shootout. It was like a movie. So there were people inside a house and people outside the house shooting at each other in a neighborhood. All right, hundreds of rounds fired back and forth. The prosecutor in Chicago, Kim Fox, an incompetent loon, wouldn't prosecute anybody. They knew who the gang members were shooting, wouldn't bring charges. You know what she said? It was a fair fight. (laughs) So what if you lived in that neighborhood and you had a five-year-old in the front yard? Again, this is the most vivid example of racism in this country there is. I'm sorry. And you clerics, you ministers and priests, not a lot of rabbis in those neighborhoods, but uh, I mean, you're not saying anything, you know, standing down, not organizing your churches to speak out against this. What kind of people are you? You've got a lead. All right, that's the memo. Biden got nothing on schedule again today. He's talking about electric utilities at at 2.30. I, I, you know, it's like ridiculous. It's absurd. He doesn't do anything all day. Now, tomorrow he does go to Virginia to do some thing. um, And I'm going to get to that in a moment because he's going to give an interview in Virginia to Lester Holt, who... You know, I I like Lester, I respect them, but. If you are stuck in a timeshare and you haven't called Lone Star Transfer yet, what are you waiting for? Lone Star Transfer has helped more than 16,000 happy customers. They are family owned, have a 99% success rate. Their process is done legally, ethically, and quickly. I mean, does it get better than that? 
The team at Lone Star Transfer will keep you informed every step of the way until you are legally and permanently released from your timeshare. So don't pay another penny for a timeshare you don't use. Get peace of mind today with Lone Star Transfer. They guarantee the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and in a specific time frame. Give Lone Star Transfer a call for a free no obligation consultation. 855-551-7066, 855-551-7066 or online at LoneStarTransfer.com. Here's a story you're not going to hear anywhere else that you need to hear. So you know I've been telling you that the primary advisor to Joe Biden is his wife, Jill Biden, Dr. Jill. Okay? So far, she's kind of stayed out of policy, but nobody gets to Biden. And I mean nobody. Unless Jill Biden okays it. He is 100% dependent on his wife. So yesterday, she shows up at the Community College National Legislative Summit in D.C., Jill Biden, and she says this, go. But Joe has also had to make compromises. Congress hasn't passed the Build Back Better legislation yet. And Free Community College is no longer part of that package. We knew that this wasn't going to be easy. Joe always said that. Still, like you, I was disappointed. All right, first time that I've seen her go on policy. All right. Now, the reason that the Build Back Better plan failed and is never coming back is because it would have led to higher inflation for everybody in the country. You cannot spend at the rate Joe Biden wants to spend government money and think that the dollar is not going to be impacted. It will be. So smart people who care about the whole country understand you can't pay for everybody's community college. You can't. You can't pay for everybody's uh, child care. There's not enough money in the country to do that. Now, subsidize people who are in bad straits. Sure. I'm for that. But Jill Biden, you're going to see over the next year or so, she's going to emerge more and more as a policy person. So I was always convinced that she was, but now I'm going to get data to prove it. All right, as I said, Lester Holt, the NBC News anchor, will interview uh, Joe Biden in Virginia tomorrow. Um, he, uh, this is a taped interview. They're going to use it at pre-Super Bowl. Now, your humble correspondent, you may remember, did three Super Bowl interviews, two of them live. And yeah, you try that live. All right, the first one. February 6, 2011, and it was President Obama. Roll it. This is the Wall Street <laughs> Journal. Uh, you know, painting is a pretty left-wing guy. You're, yeah. you're going to well, draw the line. The Wall Street Journal will probably paint you as a left-wing guy. No, no. Uh, they, I, they, they, uh, I mean, if, if you're talking about the Wall Street Journal editorial Editor, page, that's, that's what this is. You know, the, uh, you know that's like uh, quoting the, the New York Times editorial. Do you deny page. their assessment? Do you deny oh, that you're a man who wants to redistribute wealth? Absolutely. You deny that? Absolutely. Bill, I didn't raise taxes once. I lowered taxes over the last two years. But the I lowered, tax, I lowered taxes for the last two years. But the, and, the, the and entitlements what I, that you champion do, do redistribute wealth in the sense that they provide insurance coverage for 40 million people who don't is, have it. What is absolutely true is I think in this country, there's no reason why if you get sick, you should go bankrupt. Now, that, the notion that that's a radical principle, I don't think the majority of people uh, would agree with you on. Then why do the majority of people in the polls not support Obamacare? Actually, I think it's pretty evenly... It's close. It's, 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 majority even, it's, it's evenly divided, Bill. Okay, then right after that interview, and it was live again, not easy to do, uh, President Obama took me up to the Lincoln bedroom because he had read Killing Lincoln and showed me a handwritten copy of the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. Stunning. Okay, so then three years later, I'm back at the White House for another pre-interview for the Super Bowl. This time, Lois Lerner, remember her? And the IRS in Cincinnati was 
accused of targeting Tea Party groups for punishment by the IRS. Roll the tape. But, but, but when folks actually are unanswered questions, Bill, when you actually look at the stuff, there have been multiple hearings on it. What happened here was is that you've got, no a, you've got a 501 C4 law that people think is confusing, no, that the folks did not know how to implement okay. because it basically says so you're saying if you're no, involved no corruption there at all. No, that's not what I'm flat. saying. That's actually no, no. But I want to know what you're saying. You're the leader absolutely. of the country. You're saying no corruption. No, None. no, there were some there were some boneheaded decisions boneheaded out, decision. of, out of a but no office. mass corruption not even mass corruption not even a smidgen of corruption smidgen okay so that was number two. Third interview with, with donald trump um right after he uh was sworn in as president 2017 go if we can get along with russia and if russia helps us in the fight against isis which is a major fight and islamic terrorism all over the world, right? major fight, that's a good thing. Will I get along with him? I have no idea. It's He's very a possible killer, I though. Won't. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers. We've got a lot of killers. Why, well, you think our country's so innocent? You think our country's so innocent? I don't know of any government leaders that are killers in America. Well, take a look at what we've done, too. We've made a lot of mistakes. I've been against the war in Iraq from the beginning. Yeah, the mistakes are different then. A lot of mistakes, okay, but a lot of people were killed, so. A lot of right. killers around, believe me. You mentioned ISIS. And I'm not, I'm not apologizing for Putin. I don't know Putin. I'm not apologizing for anybody. You guys going to meet, I'm by the saying, way? Do you have a meeting? I guess at some point we'll meet. But I'm just saying this. Getting along with countries, not just Russia, is, is a good thing, yeah. not a bad Got thing. Got it. Okay, so I think I did a pretty darn good job with those interviews, and I wasn't a cupcake. And I think it'll be interesting to see what Lester Holt does on uh, his interview, which will be tomorrow, taped, and then you'll see it uh, before the Super Bowl. Are you looking for your next investment? Bill O'Reilly here. There are eight reasons to look at the NRIA Real Estate Development Fund. Stable monthly cash flow payouts with double-digit targeted bonus returns. They strategically develop in lower-risk, high-demand neighborhoods. Prime new construction is short on supply and high on demand. Diversification is safety from stock market risk. They have a short and long-term strategy for returns today and down the road. Specifically designed pandemic hardened buildings. They are 15 year industry leaders with a proven track record. So if you've been sitting on the sidelines or want to diversify, please start your due diligence at nria.net or call 800- 800-1414. That's easy. 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA Private Placement Memorandum. Read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at nria.net. Okay, time now for the final thought. So, uh, we are going to go to Chicago. I've been there in a long time, and I'm going to target certain places in the country that I haven't been for personal appearances. So our radio affiliate there is the powerhouse WLS Radio. Okay, they carry the O'Reilly Update in the morning and afternoon. And we're going to do the show in conjunction with them at the Genesee Theater in Waukegan, Illinois. All right, on March 31st, 7 p.m. It's going to be a great time. So Ticketmaster has the tickets. Or you can go to the Genesee Theater in Waukegan and get your tickets. If you go now, because this is the first announcement, you'll get the really good seats right up top. So we're going to do a lot of stuff there. It's going to be fun. These shows always sold out, and I think this one will too. We're very pleased to be going to Chicago. And if you live anywhere near Chicago land, and that's a vast area, come on in. I think you'll be very happy, and we'll be happy to see you. Now, I will not be here tomorrow. I'm going to Florida in about two hours. Uh, I got business to attend to down there. And, you know, it's not bad to go to Florida in February. Not a bad place to be. So I'm going down and I'm going to see a bunch of people. So I won't be here tomorrow. But I will be back on Monday. Um, but, you know, sometimes I, I just have to do stuff. But, you know, I look forward to these shows and I hope you do, too. Thank you for watching.
We'll see you on Monday. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's noticed everything is getting more expensive. We are in the biggest economic crisis since 2008. With a government that's printing trillions of dollars, consumer prices at the highest we've seen in 30 years. Inflation certainly here. And if the government continues its out of control printing and spending, the dollar could continue its freefall and lose its coveted role as the world's reserve currency. While paper money will eventually have a shrinkage in value, there are real tangible things that will always maintain value. So how do you protect your money, your retirement, your savings? American Hartford Gold can show you how to hedge your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call, and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Plus, tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you up to 2500 bucks of free silver on your first order. So please don't wait. Call them now, 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on The First. No Spin News, every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on The First.